Okay. Hello! This is going to be a showcase of this mod, just like another episode which me and Sabri showed a few, in fact just now. He's on this map, just he spawned on Earth and he can't TP to me since we're in different dimensions. So this is my station. It is really good. But, and as well as uh, my dad's, it spins. Here's a tier 4 rocket since I prefer tier 4 to any other. Uh, the, and I just destroyed it. And I have a fuel loader. And yes. And so... These are my solar panels. They are the advanced ones, just like the ones in the moon base, and they are still collecting energy. So in this space station, I have used zero gravity as my advantage. Uh, this is the tiny airlock, where, is the, where there's barely anything. And this is my display room, where there are displays of the solar system, Earth, uh, Pluto I believe, us, uh, and my station, because this is a different world. And I need to do something, which I forgot to do, which takes about five seconds. And this is how you make an airlock. You get airlock frames and you get the controller, one of the most important things required and one of the only two things required. And you simply just do this. You can activate it on a redstone signal or if it's your own name. And I now remember how to make it go horizontally. And this station also has oxygen, and since there's no cold or heat in space, it doesn't need thermal protection. I used thermal, uh, I, no gravity to my advantage. Uh, Sabri will be coming to the station right about, where on earth are you? Are you um, in the block? At the station. Are you in the block? Whoops. I okay. Think it's like, I think you just built something on top of my head. I did not. The middle is... I've used zero gravity to my Where advantage. Oh, um, he is invisible somehow and I cannot see him. <laughs> so uh, that doesn't matter. So again I've used zero gravity to my advantage so I can go up and down. You saw and this is my cafeteria, which is too big and has coffee, cooked chicken, bread, stew, steak, pie, cooked fish, water, dehydrated melons, dehydrated carrots, dehydrated apples, and no potatoes. By that I mean dehydrated potatoes. Here's some cake and some cheese. And it's fully that. This station has oxygen and I see you now okay yay and this is my oxygen room which is a huge mess but I don't care it looks you can't see the plants and I have one the wrong way around I need to get a wrench yeah yeah okay thingy in my way much better and the red circles connect to the oxygen pipe and the green pipe connects to the aluminium wire. And oxygen pipes go all around the base, don't they? Sorry, the station. No, they don't actually. They're only here because these doors are not sealed. So I have put these airlocks in here. Only in, I mean these uh, sealers, only in here. So yeah, to make the base look better. And here is the cyrogenic chamber place because Again, as I told you, I, and Sabri has a trouble with doors. I hate these doors. Exactly. 
because they're buttoned. Wrong way. This way. Going to a long run. That's the cafeteria. Get. I was being hungry. Ah, go through. Okay. Okay, now follow me. This is where. Oh, and now I'm. <laughs> okay, so this is where. A cyrogenic chamber room, where there are millions of cyrogenic chambers. As I said before, millions, th uh, a lot. Uh, uh, as I said before in the other video, which isn't as good as this, these uh, the beds explode, but so these cyrogen cryogenic chambers do not. So if I go in this, I will be trapped in it and not be able to do anything. Could you please destroy it? Which one? This one. No, that one. And I turned up in the wall, which is a lag, which always happens to everyone. So if it's I just a bug in the. I know. Also known as a. Do you want to show them how, what it looks like when you're asleep? You're carrying a cyro cryogenic chamber. I know I am. Okay. Okay, so uh, moving on. Uh, this is the lab. The DNA lab and the and the chemical lab are both in the same place. These are leather chests, much more than the moon base, which have a load of radioactive stuff and extremely radioactive stuff. And please stop looking in my chest. This is a synthesis machine which I have powered. This I have powered, or well, kind of. What's wrong with it? Okay, and this I doesn't need power. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, so this is the analyzer which has power. This is the extractor which has power. And this is the decryptor which has power. We've been there already. And let's go up. We've been there already. Come on. Okay, so now let's go upstairs. No gravity to my advantage. This Whoa. is where the airlock and the display screens are. If I go through the airlock, I have two kind of airlocks. And I can quickly make another one with horizontal mode Whoa. turned on. And you better come up here quickly before I close this Whoa. airlock. Whoa. Yes, and there's still no gravity here. As he is demonstrating I'm by floating away. away. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And um, yes, so floating away is bad. This airlock will still not work, but that is not too much of a problem. Here's the launch pad where I have a fuel loader and soon it will add the things necessary uh, to make a f a fuel a f to make fuel and by this Where is a para chest which uh, strangely because he landed is here which I will destroy and throw it away no that's my wrench throw it away <laughs> okay well I need a new wrench okay so I also have these spin thrusters, here you can see them, they, auto, uh, they activate automatically, so, and these are the sealable aluminum wires, which, why do you keep grappling? Bye! <laughs> and he's falling down to us, which does, again, happen a lot. I feel like Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man, okay, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Okay, so anyway, these spin thrusters activate automatically, no need for flint and steel or anything like that. And yes, that's pretty much all. And these also, these fuel loaders need power and fuel, obviously. And I think that's all for now. Have um, you given them an overview shot of your... Oh yes, I, so this is what it looks like from far away. I made this look like it's kind of a watchtower for the whole It looks station. like a, a fat version of Deep Space Nine. It, 
It's in fact it's small version of it. <laughs> okay. And you can see the crescent moon in the background there. Yes, and, and the, the sun. sun. Which is unright. Okay, this will be the end of this episode and Thank you for watching.